You guys, I am having so much fun doing these interviews. I don't know if you've noticed, but we are interviewing all of our keynote speakers that are going to be at our Burnout to All Out live event where we are elevating you personally and professionally, growing your network, growing you as a person, and rolling up your sleeves to tactically learn the best tips and tricks on the market today to scale your business as the digital CEO that you are. Um, today, I'm gonna be bringing Jake Kelfler here online just in a minute, and he's gonna be speaking to you guys about how you can take your idea and make it a bestseller. He's actually also going to be coming on stage to speak at our live. Here he comes. Let me see if I can find him. I think he's hopping on. There he is. Long time no see. How are we doing? I'm doing good. Jake, I'm so excited to have you here. I was just talking with the group about our amazing live event that's gonna be happening later this year. Um, and actually I was just in Jake's small group. We're gonna have you talk about what you're doing here in just a second, speaking to his group um, who are working on publishing their books right now. Um, but uh, so excited to have you here, Jake. Jake is going to be one of our keynote speakers at our live event later this year, talking about how to publish your very first book. Um, but you're here today. And you are coaching and teaching people this on, on the daily. And I had, a, just so you know, you might have gotten my voice note, but I had my one-on-one -on -one coaching call with one of my mastermind members today. And she's like, that Jake guy, he came in and spoke in your community a couple weeks ago. I really want to write a book. Connect me with him. Um, Jake is the real deal. He brings the heat. Jake, talk to us a little bit about what it is you do and how you do it. Yeah, well, first of all, Melissa, so, so great to see you again, right? I love this. Um, so, so look, simply put is I help people write and launch nonfiction books. And this whole idea is created after I wrote three different books myself, three different best-selling books. And, and the premise of it was, how do you write a book as a busy entrepreneur, a busy real estate agent, a busy lawyer, a busy human being, but you still want to have a message to share that can impact people and grow on the back end? from a business standpoint. And so we created an entire process to really make writing a book, not only doable, but to do it very, very quickly. So good, so good. Um, and it's, <laughs> I know, and I'm like, you're, my head's spinning with writing my own book right now. I'm like, how do you do it quickly, Jay? Really? Like, I know you can't tell us in 10 minutes, but selfishly, like, I need to have my book written in the next 20 days. So, <laughs> Yeah. Can you, what do you think are some of the most common misperceptions maybe that people have about book writing that you think is holding people back from getting started? Like, because I know for me, for years, I've been like, no, it's way too much work. I don't have the time. Like, what do you think are some of the biggest misperceptions people have around book writing? I think a few of them that come up are, I don't have time. That's definitely going to be one of the biggest, the biggest ones, especially from entrepreneurs who are building six, seven, eight, nine figure businesses. So that's definitely one. Uh, another big one that we hear a lot of the time is, well, who am I to share this message, right? I haven't hit this milestone yet. So who's going to read my book? And when we look at both of those, we can break those down. For the person that says, well, who am I to write this book? Is it the right time for me to write this book? I'd ask you to ask yourself this. Do you believe that what you know can help somebody? Have you already helped somebody teaching what you currently teach? For many people, they're already getting paid doing what the thing is that they'd write their book on. Mm -hmm. And if you can answer yes to those questions, then now is the right time for you to write the book because someone needs to hear it in your voice in this very moment. Look, yes. we can all say, oh my gosh, Brene Brown wrote the book on vulnerability. I can't do it. Well, right. no, there are many people out in the world who have no idea, first of all, who Brene Brown is. But to you, she's the most iconic person in the world because that's who you follow, right? Right. But people need to hear it in your voice at your time when they're ready to hear it. So that's one thing. The second thing is, oh, I don't have time. Well, I don't have time really, really means it's not a big enough priority for me at this time. Because the things that are most important to us, we always have time for. If family is a core virtue of yours, then you make time for your family, no ifs, ands, or buts. Right. My dad never missed a single sporting event for me growing up, took me to every single practice, every single game. Why? Because that was more important to him than working an extra four hours a day. Mm. 
that paid huge dividends in how I was raised and how I became a person today. So my point here is this. We all have things in our life that are going on. We all have doubts and insecurities. But when it comes to writing our book, we have to address ourselves and answer this simple fundamental question. Why do I want to write this book? And why do I want to write it now? And if you can answer that question fully, it becomes a priority and it becomes something that you get so excitedly attached to that no matter what comes up, you will still continue to execute. Mm, that is good. That is so good. My gosh, so, so good. Um, well, so I know that you, you, you kicked off with who in particular you coach to or you serve, but can you expand upon that? Like um, you said nonfiction authors, like, can you give us kind of the run of the mill of like you, maybe the, the cohort you're coaching right now? What, like what's the spread of different clients you have in your program? The, the spread is vast. The spread is vast, but there is something that is similar amongst every single person. Okay. We have former investment bankers turned spiritual life coaches. We have real estate agents. We have fitness coaches. We have mindset coaches for entertainment professionals. We have somebody teaching uh, uh, with single moms how to break into the cosmetic industry as an entrepreneur. We have people that are talking about belonging and fitting in. So we have people talking about all these different aspects, but here's where it becomes similar. Every single one of our clients that goes through this program has something that they want to teach somebody else. They have gone through a transformation themselves and they want to share their experiences of having gone through that transformation to inspire somebody to achieve a specific result. And so the book that every person writes takes somebody from where they're at to where they want to go and their experiences create that vehicle and that bridge to get them to that ultimate destination point. Oh, so good. So, so good. Well, I know that just your words just now are lighting up some people. Um, just listening to you and motivating, it's, it's motivating, right? I think that there's a book in most of us. Um, we just have to kind of step forward and make it happen. Um, well, we're so excited to have you flying to the East Coast um, in September and get up on stage and really coach to um, in more detail, really how this process works and how to get started. Um, I know you and I are huge proponents of live events. You and I are in, um, we are in a mastermind together that's experiential based. We got to meet for the first time together at our first mastermind event. Um, can you speak maybe a little bit to your own personal experience of live events and like why you commit to them, why you're, you know, why you're open to coming to ours? Um, like what is it about live events that, that's different than us being on Zoom right now? I mean, live events, and I'm so excited. Like, I, I have it in my calendar. Like, I am counting down the days. I can't wait to get out there. I think it'll be the first time I've ever actually been there as well. So that's always exciting to check off a new city. But yes. here's, here's the thing when it comes to live events. And, I, and I've gone to live events forever. Like, my second book was called Elevate Your Network. And one of the biggest things that I always talk about is getting yourself in the room. So not only investing yourself in getting in the room, um, but – the opportunity of what happens at a live event is often different than what you necessarily head there for. Here's what I mean by this. I go to conferences that I may not even care about who the speakers are, but I care about who the audience is. Mm. Why? Because that gives me a chance to connect with people that can become partners, clients, or mentors. The other side of it is I do go to events purely for the speakers. So maybe I have a really busy work week, but I know that there's four speakers that I really want to hear and I want to get some extra additional content. Boom, I go to that event for them. So yes. when it comes to live events, it's not just, oh, are there speakers the best? Is this the perfect event in the world? If you get everything in one package, congratulations, mazel tov, book your flight and get a ticket. But right. what's even bigger is that live events create an opportunity to let miracles happen. Yes. And every single live event that I've spoken at or been at, something has come from it that I couldn't have predicted before I went to that event. And so your live event is going to have top tier speakers. You're going to have an incredible audience. There is going to be so much room for connection. There's going to be so much room for business growth, partnerships, collaborations, connection with the speakers. That's something that I'm really excited as a speaker is I get to connect with different people. I get to do this cool thing that, I, that I'm not going to share now, but I get to do this cool thing when I go to events as a speaker that's really going to turn some heads. And so overall, I think live events are absolute musts. And the final thing that I'm going to say on this is this. If you are somebody who wants to get to another level in your life, 
there is no better thing that you can do than go to a live event and invest in yourself because you pay attention when you pay your money, right? Yes. We've all heard that phrase, whatever it is, you, people who pay, pay attention, but it's true. When you book a flight, when you get a hotel, when you invest in yourself, all of a sudden, how you approach that event also changes. It's easy to get on a Zoom. It's easy to get on an IG Live with us right now. Yeah, but guess what? You're probably doing something else on your phone. You're probably taking notes, you're probably doing whatever. But when you get into that room, your attention is now there. So I'm just, I'm just so excited, especially after a couple years of, of limited live events. Now we have something really exciting to look forward to. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so true. And it makes me think of a conversation I had the other day. Um, a girlfriend of mine, just about three years ago, she and I both went on the same path to create our own courses, create our own programs. And um, last month she reached out and called me and um, my, my business, my trajectory of my business skyrocketed. Those of you who follow me kind of know the story. Um, but she reached out to me the other day and she said, I just want your advice. I've watched you over the past two and a half, three years. Your business has exploded. What are you doing differently that I have not done? And what I said to her and I say to everyone is that I paid to get into the right rooms, to be connected to the right people. We're all just one introduction away from a completely different business, but we have to get ourselves out there, right? We have to get ourselves out there to have those conversations, to network, to be seen beyond the social media, right? Um, to be able to hug people and have conversations over cocktails and dinners and the breakout sessions that become the breakthroughs, right? I love them. So good. Jake, where can people find you today? Because I had a call today with somebody I needed to connect with you. I saw my name is in your group. I don't know if you know she's in my mastermind. Yep. So I love that. Um, where can people find you today if they're like, I can't wait till September to write a book. I need to connect with Jake today. Where can they find you? Where's the best place to see what you got going on and where can they find you? The best place is just pop over to my profile at Jake Kelfer uh, here on Instagram. Uh, that's going to be the best place we can connect with. Uh, you can binge watch some content. We got some entertainment videos. We got some educational videos. Um, and then we can chat in the DMs. Like, I, I love mm -hmm. connecting. If you've ever thought about writing a book, I'd be happy to chat with whomever and say, hey, this is the right time. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe go do this first. Um, I'm very, very transparent in terms of uh, giving people the real uh, advice that they, that they may not want to hear, but it's what they need to hear. And so um, I invite you guys all to have those conversations. And if you ever want to write a book, come hang out on the gram. Yes. Oh my gosh. So good. And if you guys want to meet him live and in person and come to our burnout to all out elevate event, you guys can just tap on the bio, my bio, or even either DM me with the word elevate and we can get you connected with the details there. Um, Jake, thank you so much. Can't wait to see you very shortly. I'll, I'll see you on a mastermind call sometime soon, I think. But um, thank you so much for coming in and serving our community today and really appreciate you and look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah. Thanks so much. Russ. appreciate you. All right. Bye-bye.